this is Nina with NinaSouthernAccents.blogspot.com, and I'm here to share a card with you that's got some uh, fun techniques in it. We're going to be using our Stampin' Write markers, not to be confused with the Stampin' Blends. We're going to be doing a little watercoloring. Um, so, I've already stamped my image. The stamp sets that I'm using are beautiful. You, there's two... Um, sets in this one stamp set but i'm using this image right here and then the waterfront um is what i'm going to build my scene with now i've already stamped my woman down when you're water coloring you need to use stays on ink okay um stays on is not gonna smear and run but to build my scene i've got to mask off my woman so I've already inked up my stamp. Let me do it again, just in case. Um, and you, when I'm using sticky notes to mask, so when you stamp the image down, you want to get as much of it on the part that's gonna stick as possible. And then I'm gonna use my stays on cleaner right over here. Just rub it on my stamp and then I've got my stamping scrub off to the side here I'm just gonna clean off that stamp real quick and then I'm gonna put her back in there now I'm gonna fussy cut this but one thing I do want to point out when you are um, masking an image. You know, when you're fussy cutting, you, we always say leave a little white edge. When you're doing this for masking, cut right on that line or you're gonna have some ghosting around the image. I've got my image fussy cut and I'm just gonna lay it over. Just like that. So what inspired this card, I am part of um, a book launch team. The name of the book is Finding Deep and Wide. Anyway, I'm part of a book launch called Finding Deep and Wide. The book's written by Shelley Rushing Tomlinson. She's a Christian writer and the cover of the book is what inspired this card so now the next thing i'm going to do is find my pool party re-inker and i'm just going to add a little bit the stamping block and we'll take my aqua painter and just add some water there and then I'm just going to do a little wash for my sky I'm kind of darker at the top and then it'll fade just like that now you want to be careful not to get your sticky note wet okay because the sticky note is not it's not a waterproof mask and so your ink and all will run up under that image and mess it up ask me how i know that all right, now for the fun technique. I am gonna get out these mountains. Put things up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink up my mountains with old olive ink. And then we're gonna do something called thumping. And 
I'm just going to take my Cajun Craze marker and just thump on or now you want to kind of rub that off make sure you don't have any of that old olive ink on your marker then I'm gonna take my mango melody the look that I'm looking for um you know in the mountains when you go in the fall and the leaves are changing and it looks like a patchwork quilt so you can see more of that um, old olive on, on the lighter colors. So make sure you get all that off. Now I'm gonna take my pumpkin pie. No, I'm getting these confused. That was my pumpkin pie. This is my mango melody. Sorry guys. I'm just gonna do like that. And then I'm gonna huff on my stamp. That re-moistens the ink. And I'm gonna stamp down my mountain. Now I'm gonna do it again to get a lighter image like that. All right, now I'm gonna clean my stamp off. And we're gonna redo that process. All right, now we're gonna add some water. Y'all saw my vacation pictures on my Facebook page. Um, Y'all know that I love the mountains. So I'm gonna grab this image here. Let's do it like that. Ah! See, okay, do you see how it's masked? I'm gonna get her back on there. All right. So I'm gonna take the balmy blue. Now this, we're gonna add some color. We're not gonna thump this time. We're just gonna. So I inked it up with the balmy blue. Now I'm taking my um, Pacific Point, and I'm just adding some stripes. Now I'm going to take my Knight of Navy. Okay. Then I'm going to huff. And I'm going to do just like that. Ah! My mask keeps coming off. That's not good, is it? I got that kind of close to her. So now I'm going to take my Aqua Painter and I'm gonna put some water away from my image, okay? I don't want that water seeping up under her dress. Again, ask me how I know that. So let me clean off my stamp. We're gonna go back with the balmy blue. Pacific Point, Knight of Navy, Huff. Now let's see how different it looks with me adding the water there. You see the difference? And I'm even, let me wipe that off right there. Gonna get some right there.
Me and this mask are going to fuss in a minute. All right, now let's do the other side. I don't want to get too close to the bottom because this is going to be my grass down here. So, I'm going to bring in this stamp here and we're just going to fill in some water. I'm just going to use the balmy blue though. Okay, now I'm going to use the same stamp to add some grass up here and this time I am going to use the mossy meadow for a little darker definition. They do make, and I'm not, I don't watercolor a lot, but for those of you who would be interested in doing something like that, they do make a fluid mask that you paint over your image. Um, Stampin' Up! does not sell that. You can buy it at craft stores or order it online. But that would be an option if you, um, if you wanted to get that water right up to the image without having to worry about it um, going away. I think I want to add a little bit more water down here before I add some grass. Now I'm going to bring back my old olive. Actually, I've already got some on a block here and I'm going to bring in my aqua painter. And I'm just going to add in, so it's like she's standing at the edge of a river in the mountains. Don't you want to be there? Okay, be daring, okay? I'm, I'm not squeezing my water. My tip is just damp. And I'm just going to move that color around a little bit. Okay. The more water you add, the more the color will move. And I'm pulling it away from that image, okay? I think I want a little bit more Pacific Point there. I'm just going to do this and that. Maybe a little bit over here. Okay. I'm going to peel off my mask and now we get to color her in. Soft suede hat. So all I'm gonna do is put my ink block in my and you know when you're watercoloring the more water you add the lighter the color and you can use your scratch paper to kind of see see how dark that is I want it a little bit lighter so we're just gonna fill in that hat just like that. I can make it a little bit darker by adding some ink. Just dotting on my paper. Get that off my paper towel. Her skin tone. I think we're going to use petal pink. I'm just going to put a little bit on there. Let's test it out here. Yeah, that's about the color I want.
just to give her skin a little bit of color. Add some color to her legs. Just like that. Add water if something's too dark for your liking. You can add water and it kind of acts as a bleaching agent. All right, so there's that. Go with Mary Merlot. I'm gonna see. Okay, so now when I'm watercoloring and I'm trying to stay, I'm just gonna kind of hit the highlights. Stamping up is so good about showing us where the dark, you know, adding those little extra stamps in or lines in. But I'm just going to kind of fill in like that. Move that color around. Oh, yeah. going to let this sit and dry. I want her hair to be blacker. So, I feel like her hair looks washed out. So, what I'm going to do is take my Stampin' Right marker, my black marker, and And color a little bit on here. Did y'all know that you can take your markers and color on your ink pad and add ink that way? Let's just add a little bit of color to her hair, just like that. There we go. Not too much. Looks like a little bit of that ink bled there. I'm just going to take my paper towel and just kind of blot that. And I am really happy with that. That's, that's the image that I wanted. So I'm going to let this sit here and dry. And um, I'll come back and we'll do the finished card. <laughs> 